Well, we are now hearing from Florida Congressman Carlos Jimenez, who was golfing with Trump when the indictment was announced. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live on Capitol Hill with that interview. Ben. Well, Kyle, I'm going to go with Congressman Jimenez says he is unhappy, unfair with this uh, news against Trump, adding that on that day he said Trump did not take it well. He did, or let me backtrack there. He was not happy, but did take it well when they were together on Friday. Let's take you to those images and video of the South Florida Republican representative seen golfing with the 45th president on the same day the Department of Justice announced a federal indictment. Jimenez says during their time on the course, the former commander in chief got the phone call from supporters adding that Trump is in good spirits and will fight the charges. He's being targeted unfairly. Um, he's confident. Uh, I'm sure he's going to put a, a very good legal team you know, around him. And look, it's, a, it's really easy. It's fairly easy to indict somebody. It's a lot harder to convict somebody. The DOJ says Trump showed highly confidential and secret material to people who did not have security clearance. Uh, your reaction? No, oh, again, that's what the DOJ says, right? It's going to have there's there's two sides to every story. Uh, remember, we were told for a long time that uh, somehow Trump was colluding with the Russians. That turned out to be all a hoax. A lot of it perpetrated by the same DOJ and the FBI. Now, Jimenez did endorse Trump back in April, saying that this indictment does not change anything, and he will continue to support Trump during his run in 2024. Reporting live on Capitol Hill, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Even if convicted, even Trump says he will run for the White House. Thanks a lot there, Ben. And stay with Local 10 on air and online as this historic story continues to develop.